Hello, my lovely Gemini. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Gemini, welcome to your mid-month reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus, Science. Indeed, for some of you, it will be a mid-month. For others of you, it will be a weekend. And for a good amount of you, it will be a new moon in Aries reading. Take what resonates, loves. Leave what does not. General reading as usually. And of course, if you are inclined to see this reading, this energy, you are here for the right reason. Let's see, loves, what we have here from the angels and ancestors. What angels and ancestors want to speak to you, want to guide you. And what are those blessings from the spirit deliver at this time? It's a good time to set up your manifestations, even those the wildest ones. You know, Aries is that type of zodiac ruled by Mars, masculine, young energy. So don't hold back. Whatever you want to go, whatever you want to do. Green light for all of you, loves. But let's see here. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus, Science again. The Angels and Ancestor reading here starts. We have for you winter time. Take care of your needs. It's like take some time for yourself. Might not be a proper time to jump into the things, but it's kind of like take care of you. Do you. Do what fulfills you, do what, what works for you. And it's kind of like if you take care of you, you can take care of others. If you are feeling good, that energy is expanding. For some of you, you might deal with somebody who is born in the winter time. Capricorn, Aquarius, Sag. And sage, be devoted and committed. It's like at this time, you matter most. Choose you. Choose to work on the things which are important for you. And start making plans. Start putting the things out there once the energy is lifting up. Because I feel here there's a Gemini who've been quite lately into on the go, back forth, back forth. And now it's like, well, I got to recharge my batteries. That's very strong for taking care of your needs. But let's see. What do we have here from the spirit, from the cards? Today I'm using the Gilead Tower Royale for all of you who always ask me what the decks I'm using. Let's see here. Gemini. The Gemini, Two of Cups, love coming in, there's something here you are having in your mind and you are quite determined to go forward, Six of Wands, Leo energy, but you are quite determined, you feel like this connection is your person. Let's see. It's quite new. Something here, it's new. Five of Swords. Five of Wands. High Priestess. Two of Pentacles. Death. Nine of Pentacles. Hierophant. Devil. And Eight of Cups. All right, loves. I feel here that's you who move forward from somebody. And actually it's like I'm moving forward from somebody to somebody else. But it's like first thing first, I need to end whatever is now. There is a situation here, indeed here, take care of your needs, loves. And I'll tell you why. It's kind of like you are in the middle of the storm right now. And the high priestess is like, do what is right for you. 
follow your intuition. There is a little chaos here. There is too many. It's like there is a crowd here. For some of you, you could walk away from a marriage or from a commitment which was quite toxic. I don't see a quite long relationship, but full of lies, full of gossip, full of everything. And you choose to end this. I feel here for quite a period of time you'd be like, maybe this will work. Maybe this person will change. But you realize that this person is not going to change. Same old, same old, same old. And it's not the thing you don't love them. Because I feel here you still do love them. But it's too many people in the mix. And I feel here could be a thing here that either you, you work on this, either I'm out. And there is somebody here who is out. You, Gemini, might deal here with a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see Pisces and I see Scorpio. But that's, that's you who moves forward. Because I feel you, you are right here in the middle. Death energy. Death energy speaks to me. Knight of Cups into the new. You are transforming here. Page of Cups. And Nine of Wands. It's like somebody here is like, I gave too many chances. Not just one, not just two, way more. And now I don't see how the change could be. Eight of Cups, speak to me here. Seven of Wands. If you walked away, Gemini, I feel here will not be quite easy. But I feel here the universe will help you to move forward. Yeah. Will help you to move forward. The Gemini, what I'm speaking here, you might deal strongly with a water sign. Or you might, deal, you might have a lot of water in your chart. But the thing is, somebody here said like, you know, I don't want to go circles over and over and over and over again. Somebody here resists to go back. Yeah, into a new, a new beginning. Chariot underneath here for you, Cancerian underneath. I totally believe the Gemini I'm speaking could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in the chart. The other person might have a lot of fire and earth. It's not excluded here, but I see earth strongly. But yeah, again, sun. Emerging into a new beginning. Starting a new life. It's like... It's it's not like you... For some of you, you are going towards new love. For others of you, you are starting to love in yourself. Or to lift your energy up. Starting taking care of you... And realizing who you truly are. Like you you could felt you've been into a cocoon. And you was like, you know, getting. And now you are transforming. You are expanding. You are moving. Again, I feel here you are in the middle of the storm here. But you know where you are going. You absolutely know. 
on the other thing here we have the hermit here at the bottom and that's the winter time for you on that thing that what should I learn from all this and that's quite wise for a Gemini I've been through there through here or over the place and what's my lesson here the lesson is very strong we'll see here what the spirit and the card says but what I'm seeing here is don't give more than what you have always always take care of you first so you can take care of others as well. But let's see here. What's the lesson here to be learned? King of Cups. To stay balanced, especially emotional. And you are always a whole. Queen of Cups here. You know, you don't need somebody to complete yourself. Because you're always a whole. Emotionally, I feel here for some of you might be quite drained. There's a lot of watery energy here. But the thing is, be careful how you swim throughout the life and throughout the people. On the other thing here is don't let yourself to be manipulated okay so gemini indeed be you and take care of you take some time to heal and whoever you are leaving here behind you are moving towards something way way better love and light to all of you and if you feel that this speaks to you connects with you let me know otherwise have an awesome mid-month reading energy for you and have an awesome weekend ahead namaste